Are you sick of digging for leaves if you're painting for gold in a dried up stream? Same. That's why we built an automation that does the heavy lifting and it's been pumping out with 30,000 in recurring revenue every month for us. It's part of the actual workflow It's printing money for our agency right now, today. We're talking real automation and built using tools any halfway competent marketer can access. Just a clean workflow using N8N. We're also using searchapi.io to vacuum business data straight from Google Maps into a spreadsheet while you're binge watching whatever show you're pretending to watch these days. Of course I love this show, honey. I'll go make some more popcorn, okay? You just sneak off and hit play on the automation. And the best part of the system is you can get it rolling for free. By my calculations, you can get about 6,000 free leads. Again, for free. One thing that will cost you money, if anything, is your subscription to NAN Cloud, unless you've self-hosted already. If we get 100 likes on this video, I will provide a very reliable, 100% working, completely free way to self-host NAN in the cloud, mind you. All right, so here's some of the juicy data you're gonna be able to extract with this automation. Business name and address, I mean, actual physical address of this business. Phone number, you know, direct lines, somewhere to, somewhere to call. Website URL, of course, if they got one. Ratings and reviews if you want. Depends on how much intel you really wanna gather on these people, but it might be a little overkill, but you can get it. Business category, GPS coordinates, if you wanna be real stalker level. Listen, here's why you should be borderline aroused by this damn system. And press the subscribe button, take a little, flick a little bit, give a little tap. I'll show you in subsequent videos how we're gonna auto verify every contact we're gathering today, craft an outreach system that doesn't scream, I copied this from a SaaS blog, and all this, mind you, while staying compliant enough to sleep at night. That, damn, that feels good. And no, we're not using some uncanny valley AI voice pretending to be human on sales calls. Hello, uh, this is Robert. <laughs> This is scalable, it's lean. It's built to make cash register noises while you sleep, if you sleep during the day. Listen, today's video is gonna lay the foundation. The full breakdown of the screenshots and code is waiting for you in the blog post, link below. So you can actually implement this instead of just watching another video about passive income, okay? Oh, one more thing. If this video hits 100 likes, again, I'm gonna mention it. I'll drop a full tutorial on how to self-host NAN for free, no subscriptions, forever, no arbitrary limits. So if you want the exact system that uh, it's funny my borderline concerning caffeine habit, nice coffee, baby. Again, ravage the subscribe button and comment, give me free NAN below. Shit's about to get nerdy. Kidding, kidding, kidding. But uh, we're gonna build this automation in whole, however, not at all today. Again, this is part of the whole multi-process of outgoing lead generation and uh, actual sales, making sales. Today we're gonna focus just on this simple automation. It's a SERP scraper. This is gonna get us leads. And let's go ahead and start building it, okay? So create a new automation, go to plus, new workflow, add a manual trigger is the very first thing we need because you're only gonna trigger this once and that's whenever we want to. We don't want it running at all times. Next we're gonna add a sheet node for Google Sheets and this will be for getting a row, okay? We have an account connected here, but in case we didn't, we would just create a new one and I'll walk you through that real quickly. And go to the plus sign, create, create new credentials. We're gonna use the OAuth2. We're gonna copy this OAuth redirect URL. We're gonna need it in a few minutes here. All right, once you get to cloud.google.com or Google Cloud Console, go to, go to my console. And if you don't have an account, you're gonna to have to set up your billing details on there. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna be spending a lot of money on. If anything, you'll be spending next to nothing since Google does offer you a certain amount of free credits a month anyways. But it's required for the API keys we're gonna obtain. So after you create your account, you're gonna to have to create a new project. And I've already created one right now. And you should be able to go to the top three arrows on the left-hand side, API, credentials, and you're also gonna have to configure consent screen. I've already done this on mine, but at a new account, just do that. If you're not sure how to do that, have issues, Google it, it's pretty simple. And we're gonna create our first credential, we'll create a credential for an OAuth client ID, make it web application, its name is something. That URL that we copied a second ago, paste it right there. Copy the client ID, paste that back in our NAN right there. Take your client secret, paste that right below, and hit save. Okay, next we have to enable our actual Google Sheets. So there's a Google Sheets API, we click on it, and if this is not enabled, it'll say enable. However, we do have it enabled, so just uh, enable yours and then we'll keep going. All right, so after you, after you hit save, go ahead and sign in with Google, and you should be able to pick the email you just used to sign up with. If it's going good, you'll see this screen right here. Go to advance, connect to your server, continue. And you'll see connection successful, everything went well. If not, you've got some issues. All right, let's close this off. This is all set. Our credentials are selected right there. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new sheet first. I've got a brand new Google Sheets document open here. Name the GMB scraper, you can name it whatever you want. 
You got five columns in this first tab. It's called URL, service, city, state, and the last one will be completed. Write those in there and name this something like URLs. We have a second tab here, we'll call it results. And the following columns will be in there. Name, phone, website, rating, reviews, type, address, place underscore ID, GPS underscore coordinates, and types. Put those all in your Google Sheets. When you're all done with that, copy the URL. Go back to your N8 N instance. Switch this from list to URL. Paste the URL in there. Give it a second, it'll load your sheet up. And we're gonna select the first tab, which is the URLs tab. And we're gonna filter by the first thing is gonna be, we're gonna do column completed. We want the value to be blank, so basically it's gonna return the next rows that have nothing in the completed column. Make sure the combined filters is set to and. Add properties, we're gonna return only first matching row and check that. Let's rename this also to get pending requests queries, just so we stay organized. Hit the plus icon. We're gonna add a, another node, a code node. And let's name this filter top results. And we're gonna paste, we're gonna paste the following code in there. You take a screenshot and add it to yours or you can get this from the blog article link below. Now this is gonna be for three results because we're only gonna test three results today but you can obviously change the numbers here to match whatever number of URLs you're gonna search. So if you're gonna scrape 100 URLs, and you'll see in a second which URLs we're talking about, then you would switch this to 100. Or if you did 10, you would just switch this to 10. Make sure you're switching every single number in here. So there's a three here, there's a three here, and a three here. So we would do top 100, 100, 100. Okay, when you're all done, let's close this off. And let's go back and populate this Google Sheets document with some information for us. So we're gonna be scraping Google Maps today, and I like to use this Chrome plugin called GS Location Changer for Chrome and Firefox. It's a pretty smooth plugin, it's free, I've used it forever. And it's free to use, like I said, but uh, it works great. It works kinda like a VPN in the sense uh, that it'll master your location for Google Maps, but it's only for Google Maps. So we are gonna put Columbus, Ohio in there. It'll do for any country, any city, any state in the world. Make sure your fake location enabled box is checked. All right, and then we're gonna go to Google Maps. And hey, what do you know, I'm in Columbus. But I'm not, but I'm in Columbus. Great, so let's go ahead and uh, search for some businesses. Let's, so I need my ears shortened here, so I'm gonna get a haircut eventually. So if we're in Columbus, I would look for a barber. And there's a bunch of barber results showing up. Copy the URL, paste that in our first tab under URL. And our service, let's add barber so we stay Organize what we're doing here. Columbus, OH, leave the completed column blank. Let's do this two more times for two other businesses. Let's go ahead and do, I don't know, beautician, because my girlfriend wants to get her hair done also. And again, we're gonna copy the URL, paste it back underneath the other one, put beautician. One more time, let's go back to the maps and let's get my dog a haircut too, because uh, he needs one, even though he's a Doberman and he doesn't really get haircuts, but. Uh, let's go ahead and put groomer in there. Dog groomer, how about that? Look at that, what do you know? We're gonna take this URL one more time, paste it back in the sheets. Dog groomer, Columbus OH. And we're good to keep going on an in instance. So next we're gonna go ahead and test workflow. Let's see what showed up. Barber, URL, there's everything we need. Great, great, let's add a new node and we'll call edit fields node, AKA set node. Leave this to manually mapping. We're gonna have two fields we're gonna put in there. First one's gonna be, first field we're gonna put in there is called keyword. And really all the keyword is is the service, in this case. Make sure to set the string, it'll be green if it's working good. Add another one, this one's gonna be geo, and this is gonna be string also, and also expression. Both of these should be expression. However, although it is the URL, we're gonna put a certain code in there to extract from the URL are geo coordinates exactly. So paste this code in there. We get the snippet from the blog article again and test step. Great, we got barber and the geo coordinates extracted exactly like we want. Go ahead and rename this to parse keywords and location. Add a new node. And we're gonna put a HTTP request node. We're gonna name this fetch 
maps page one, rename it, make sure it's a get, and we're gonna go ahead and look at searchapi.io. This is a great site. You have the link in the description with 100 free credits for you. Use that, this will get you more than enough uh, URL scraped to literally get about 6,000 or up to, depending, maybe a little bit less, but definitely a few thousand leads if you do this right. So go ahead and sign up, use that code, and once you're in there, go ahead and copy the API key that's gonna be provided for you. The API key is copied, and we'll go back to our N8 in an instance. Let's create an authentication. Generic credentials is what we're gonna use. Use query auth, and we have one in there, but let's go ahead and create a new one. Search api.io, so we know what it is. Paste our API key in there. Let's also name this search API. .io, save, credential saved successfully. We're gonna send query parameters. And we have to send the following query parameters. The very first one, we'll put engine. And it's gonna be Google underscore maps. That's the tool we're using. Next one's gonna be Q. And the value for it's gonna be the keyword. Add one more parameter, and it's gonna be LL. This time, however, we're gonna add the geo, which is the coordinates, but we are gonna add something different to it. We're gonna add an at sign right before it, comma immediately afterwards, no space, and then we're gonna put 10Z, which is gonna be the zoom level on the map that it's gonna pull. These have to be entered exactly like that or it's not gonna show up. Add another parameter, we're gonna call this page. And for this first one, we'll put value one, one more parameter, API underscore key, all lowercase, and we're gonna paste our API key in there. And at the very top, we fret the URL, but let's go to put this following URL. Go ahead and copy the fetch maps page one, paste it one time, paste it a second time. And we have two different ones here. Well, let's put these in order. We have fetch, fetch maps page two. And we're only gonna change one thing in here and let's go to that page field and we're gonna set that to two. Close it off. And same for the third one, we're gonna name this one Fetch Maps Page Three. Rename, scroll down to the page number and we'll put page number three here. Go figure. All right, parse keywords and location, we're gonna to connect to the second one and third one as well. And then we're gonna add a merge node afterwards. Merge node, we're gonna set the number of inputs to three. Name it combined results. Close that off. Connect fetch maps page two to the second input. Connect fetch maps page three to the third input. Okay, and let's go ahead and test this out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We have three different sets of results getting in there. However, we need to get 60 results. So there's 20, 20, 20. This should be showing up. 20 for each page of Google Maps that we're scraping. We'll add another node. This time we're gonna add a Split out node, we're gonna just call it extract business data, rename. We're gonna take the local underscore results section from here, drag it to the first field right there, and make this all other fields. Go ahead, test this step. And now we have 60 items, this is exactly what we want. Add another node. This time we're gonna add a code node. We're gonna call it the duplicate results which is exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna deduplicate all the results, make sure we're not getting any duplicates. And the code node that we're gonna put in there is gonna be as follows. Make sure it's run once for all items. Take a screenshot of that if you want, or go ahead and look at the blog article that's attached, test step. So we lost a few. That's expected, but hey, still getting 54, which is pretty good. All right, we're almost done with this. Let's add another sheet node in here. This time it's gonna be in a pen row. Make sure everything's selected correctly. We're gonna select our document. Make sure everything's selected correctly. We're gonna append row. Same document. This time we're gonna be on the second tab, the results tab. We're gonna manually map all these. All right, so let's start with uh, what we need here. We gotta go to the local underscore results, the first position, the first one. We'll just take the first one and start with that. So place ID, that's the most important one that we're really not using today as much, but we will in future automations. So. It's super important we get that of all things. Title, put the name there. 
Address, I see that. Website, I see that. Phone, we got that, yeah we do. Rating, reviews, type is gonna be right there. It's barbershop, that's the main category. Scroll down a little bit. PS coordinates, wow, there they go. And types, which is the one underneath type. And that is gonna be like your subcategories, which include the main categories sometimes, but not always. In this case, it's massage shop, or massage therapist, and barber shop. That's a weird combo, actually. I think that's all set. Let's rename this to Dave Business Data. Rename. And we're not gonna test it quite yet. As you can see, there's 50 results that would go in there, but we're not gonna do that until we uh, finish this up. We're almost done. Add another sheet node. We're gonna update it over this time. Everything's the same, same document. Therefore, we're gonna be back on the first tab, the URLs tab. We're gonna map manually and we're gonna map it by the URL. And to get the URL that we're gonna place there, let's go to the very first sheet node we created and pull that URL right there. And the only other thing we're gonna do in here is gonna mark it completed. Done, and we're almost done. We gotta rename this, mark is done. Add a loop node, so this loops over for each result or each URL. We have three URLs, if you recall. Since we have three, we're gonna make this three. If we had 100, we'd set 100. Now this has got a default little replace me thing in there and that's gonna be Bye bye, Gonzo. Delete this little thing here too. And we're gonna loop it back to the sheet node. And this is uh, the automation. So it looks good and organized and we stay cohesive. Let's go ahead and add a sticky note. Let's drag it behind it. So it looks all pretty. Let's do PowerPoint today. Double click there to rename. You are a note. Yes, you are. You're my little note. We'll go SERP leads scraper. And that's what it looks like, but let's go ahead and add the URL so we really have this handy. Again, there we go. If we ever need to get to the document quickly, it's right there. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's refresh this one time so we get a fresh start. Pray this works. I hope it works. Please work. Please work. Please work. 56 items added. 116 items added, that's the total so far. And here's the third one for my dog groomer, cause it's my little dog getting a cut. Look at that, we got 176 items. Let's verify that by going to the Google Sheets. Oh, look at that, look at that. What's a look at that? Barber, beauty, and we got Groma. 177, not bad, you can't really argue with that. So, that's it. And there you have it folks, it's your first glimpse into the machine behind our what is now $90,000 over three months, so $30,000 a month, lead generation, customer acquiring damn system for our agency. We're an AI marketing, digital marketing agency hybrid. This isn't some theoretical framework some gurus pumping out on YouTube. This should actually work for us, okay? I didn't invent this last Tuesday. This is the actual system we've used daily to get real businesses for the last few months. Real B2B, B2C clients. The monster subscribe button, we'll post some more videos coming up here. It's the first video in a series of videos. You saw the full workflow, it's pretty damn crazy. Slap the like button, 100 likes will get you unlocked that free self-hosting NAA guide we're gonna put up. Or if you have any questions, post the damn thing and I'll respond as soon as I can. Every tool, every snippet of code we use is waiting for you in the description. I even wrote up a comprehensive blog post that you can link to and follow along at your damn pace. If you are a snail or if you are just Busy, so. Let's catch you part two, where we will transform these suspects into prospects, possibly leads, and maybe even customers. Stay hungry, stay effective. Peace.